All right, guys, we're back with another edition of Lifters Ranting and the new Powerball Gym KOP. We're here with a special guest for today's episode. We got Rondell Hunt, literally one of the strongest humans on the planet. <laughs> so we're going to kick things off in a little different format, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, see where it goes. Yeah, honestly, um, what we want to do going forward is we don't necessarily want to name this series Lifters Rant. So in the comment section, if you have any ideas or any options of names we can use going forward, please put them in the comment section. We can use it because we're having a hard time thinking of something creative. It's basically going to be like mini podcast series. Like we want to try and keep them pretty brief, maybe 15 minutes or so, maybe 20 minutes, depending on where we go. But, you know. Give us a good name. We need a catchy name. Leave a comment. And then, uh, you know, maybe we'll use yours. So to kick things off, many of you might not know, and many of you probably do know, Rondell Hunt, he's from Trinidad, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So one of the strongest humans on the planet. I'm not even kidding. We'll add his Instagram. You can check out some of his lifts if you haven't seen him. But we wanted to just give you a little, like, you know, intro on him. We wanted to ask you, how did you get started in powerlifting exactly? Yeah. So um, when I was uh, probably, like, 14 in high school um, I was one of like the strongest guys in school already and there were like guys basically all the forms we call them in, in, in Trinidad you guys call them grades yeah. above me and I was already stronger than all of them and my current coach he was actually in like I think it was like three grades above me and um, he was already into powerlifting and he was like damn this guy is strong yeah. so after we both left high school we actually met back up at the gym and he remembered how strong I was and he had actually went away to compete and represent Trinidad and stuff like that already. And he was like, you need to get into this. And at the time I wasn't really lifting too much. And he got me to come to the gym. And the first day I went to the gym, this was like my third or fourth time deadlifting. I pulled 600. So. <laughs> third or fourth time? Yeah, so. Just a quick 600. Yeah, so he, <laughs> he, he was like, no question, you know, I'll, I'll coach you for free. Like, let, let's do this. And yeah. I started prepping for, for nationals, which was like three months out, so. Well, you, how long ago was that? The um, that was 2015, so six years ago. Nice. Yeah. Nothing yeah, but building since then. I respect it. Nice. Uh, going forward from there, like, what kind of like, what does your programming look like with the, you know, limited equipment you had back at home? Like, what was the programming looking like for you with all these different accessories and different ways to get strong these days? Yeah. So I guess only recently, like. Um, you know, since we started doing everything we're doing, we actually started buying and shipping in equipment. Um, but initially to start off, it was pretty like bare bones, um, whereby, you know, we didn't have any polyps and specific stuff. So like things like a belt squat, reverse hyper, um, even like a, a GHD, these kind of things. Like it was mostly just like bodybuilding equipment yeah. and then a bar and bumper plates. <laughs> and, um, you know, programming was just sort of based around those things and just hitting the compounds as hard as possible following up with a bunch of bodybuilding stuff and yeah. you know i saw some good progress on that so did you guys have like comp plates bars oh no no that's because <laughs> i noticed in your videos like i see like you use whatever like you got like some yeah. different colored plates on there some <laughs> Get buffers, it how some you standards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we we actually bought in brought in the first uh like set of uh competition plates to trinidad um this year Dang, so 2021 way. yeah so it's Dang. crazy so actually that brings me to another point for all the power build members that complain that we might not have this <laughs> or that you guys are fucking spoiled like yeah. we have more than enough you know what i mean no we always appreciate your suggestions honestly but yeah i mean he's a perfect example like you don't really need all of, like all the different gadgets to get stronger like truly like where do you know where you're at like ranking wise like you're like damn near the number one, right? Um, weight class we're wise. talking more like overall ranking or like, like in the IPF. You, your last time you competed, what weight class were you? Um, 105 in uh, IPF. And where where is that total at still? Um, still, so that was in 2018 and our total is still like top five, so. Still top five three yeah. years ago and he's disgustingly stronger since then. Yeah. If you guys didn't see, what, a week and a half ago or so, you did 2,000 pounds 2012 pounds, right? Yeah. In less than 60 seconds. Like, unheard of. To yeah. add, after he got finished, he loaded another squad. Uh, what was that, like 804? 804, exactly. 804, yeah. 804 and Crazy. he finished that too, so, yeah. Yeah, like, truly has numbers that, like, could go in any tested meet and dominate or untested. He'd be right there with the absolute top guys. So, and you've always competed 
uh, tested, right? You're yeah. with the IPF affiliate. Yes, I am. What, what is that? What's the Fed? Um, it's called TTPF, Trinidad and yeah. Tobago Pilot. Uh, so it's basically the US APL, but I guess used to be like the US APL, <laughs> but for Trinidad. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty wild. You know what I mean? Like what he's been able to do where he's at, you know what I mean? You train by yourself a lot or? Um, so currently I do train by myself, but um, I, I think, you know, we were talking about it beforehand. Uh, I prefer a team environment, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. so I think that 2K total that I did um, last week here, to be honest, I don't think I could have done that by myself yeah. training at home, but coming in here and walking in here and having that kind of environment with like all the guys. And, a lot of energy. Yeah, right. you know what I mean? It's like, that shit is just, it makes you stronger, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's you like crazy. can't help but feel stronger. Yeah. It's just like the environment, your hype. Yeah, yeah. It's, definitely, uh, it's definitely a benefit. So. I said it one time, I'm going to say it again. Power Bill's environment is anabolic. It is. <laughs> you come in, no energy, no breakfast. Yeah. Just come in, get a good lift, I promise you. Just yeah. coming at the right time. For sure. It's crazy. From there, though, I definitely do want to ask you, um, this is like besides lifting, this is just a question for you. Mm -hmm. What has been your favorite part of your trip to the U.S. thus far? Like, uh, we know like it's your first time being able to come through. Yeah. We're glad to have you at Power Bill Gym, but I know there's been like a part of your trip that's been like super cool other than like working out. Yeah. Um, well, I actually didn't work out that much. Last time I worked out was last week. I'm not gonna work out again today. Um, I would say the coolest part is just, you know, like meeting everyone, you know what I mean? Like, um, I've seen this gym so many times on uh, Instagram. I've uh, we, we spoke before yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with, the, with the last meet, yep. um, you know, Liam, Thomas, uh, Johnny, like all those guys who I know through social media and then like finally meeting everyone. I would say like that was the coolest part. And, you know, realizing that everyone is, 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 is so cool, so warm, so welcoming, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, it's been pretty wild because like he's been coaching a bunch of our members who are also freaks of nature, like the new L brothers, you probably know. Um, who else? You, you had another couple guys in our gym, too. Uh, I can't remember the other um, young kid's name. In Tristan. Power Build? Yeah, Tristan, Tristan. Fabry. Yeah, um, there was a few. Yeah, Andrew Laughlin, he comes here from time to time. Yep. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Another, another young legend. Mm. So, yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there, guys. But just so you know, obviously, Rondell does coach. He coaches a lot of high-level athletes. He just had, what, Jamal Browner. Yeah. He just had Brandon Strigel. Yeah compete at the showdown, which is a huge meet that they just held over the weekend. His guys did really well. Um, so you could always look into his services. We're going to obviously tag his Instagram. We appreciate him coming through. It's Thank always you. amazing having you here, man. You. Um, look forward to seeing you again. Got anything to add, Jeff? Uh, no, man. It's just been crazy to see the numbers you've been putting up. It's hella motivation. I'm pretty sure not just for me, but for all the viewers watching. Uh, look forward to being around and PR in the same energy that you PR. Man. So let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Move forward. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to do more with lifters like Rondell. Anytime somebody comes through Power Bill, we want to get them on. That way you guys can learn a little bit more about them. And uh, yeah, subscribe, comment, like, share, do all the things. See you in the next one. Peace. Peace.